Hi, in this video we're looking at algebraic proof and it forms part of the playlist by the same name. One of the difficulties of these sorts of questions is really understanding what it is they're asking us to do. So we need to kind of take this apart really. So it says prove that the sum of the squares, okay, so I'm going to be squaring numbers, of any two consecutive odd numbers. So two consecutive number, odd numbers would be numbers like 3 and 5 or 7 and 9 or 13 and 15. They're the odd numbers consecutively. And it's always two more than a multiple of eight. Well, I'm not going to worry too much about the last little bit for the moment. What I'm going to do is just have a look at how I can algebraically prove this particular case. So um, the first odd number Okay, well, there are a couple of, sort of standards that you tend to use with um, algebra proof. So the first thing is, is that any number, generally, if I just write this at the top here, any number would be n. So this would be any number. Okay, so what we mean by that then is that if I double any number, it's always going to be an even number. So it doesn't matter what my number is, it could be six or it could be five, it, if I double it, it's always going to be an even number. So we say that 2n is equal to any even number. Okay, now if I've got an even number and I add one to it, it means I've got my odd number. So 2n plus one is equal to any odd number. OK, so when you're looking at these sorts of problems, it's well worthwhile keeping those in mind, because then with this, I can say, well, actually, my first odd number is going to be 2n plus 1. That's my first odd number. My second odd number is where I'm actually going to add um, another 2 to this. So 2n plus 1, and then it will be 2n plus 3, okay? It's not 2n plus 2 because that would be an even number. So 2n plus 3 will give me my second odd number. Okay, and what we're going to do then is take these two terms and square them, and also then it says we're going to sum them, so we're going to add them together. So the first thing is I'm going to take 2n plus 1, and I'm going to square it, and then I'm going to add it to 2n plus 3. Now, it looks like it's going to get a little bit complicated, so I'm going to give myself plenty of space to actually work through. So let's have a look at the first one. So I've got 2n plus 1 multiplied by 2n plus 1, and that's going to be plus 2n plus 3 multiplied by 2n plus 3. OK, so 2n plus uh, 1 squared is going to be 2n times 2n is 4n squared plus 4n plus 1. Now, I'm very aware that you might use a slightly different method of how to do this. If you're not sure, please do have a look at the playlist on um, expanding double bracketed terms, and that will give you a lot more practice in this sort of thing. You might use partitioning, for instance, but I haven't done that there. I've just done it uh, mentally. OK, so this Second one is 2n times 2n is going to be 4n squared. And then I've got plus 12n plus 9. OK. All right. So let's tidy everything up a little bit. So bring all the like terms together. And I'm going to get 8n squared plus 16n plus 10. OK. So 4n squared, 4n squared. 4n, 12n, and 1 plus 9 is going to be 10. So I'm in a process now where hopefully I've got everything put together in a nice neat little package, which is the expression for the sum of the squares of two consecutive odd numbers. Now, what I need to do is prove that it's always two more than a multiple of eight. OK, so let's have a look first at how we could write this. So therefore, we could have multiple of eight. Well, you'll notice that eight and 16 are both divisible by eight. But I could actually change this part of it to write it as 8n squared plus 16n plus 8 plus 2. Now, the reason I've done that is because I can now factorise the first three terms there for 8. So I could write that as 8 
times n squared plus 2n plus 1 and then plus two at the end. And I'm actually answering my question, it's always two more than a multiple of eight. So what I would normally do is I would write a little sentence or something that says that um, as eight is a factor, this is a multiple, apologies for my writing, OK, so this expression here is going to be a multiple and then I'm going to add two. And that would be sufficient to actually prove that the sum of the squares of two consecutive odd numbers is always more, two more than a multiple of eight. OK, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do add a comment below if you're not sure about anything. Uh, I'll always come back to you and uh, have a look at some of the other videos within the playlist. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.